Very soon, more than two lakh trees could be cut down just to get diamonds in Madhya Pradesh's Baksbaha forest. But the real question is, what is the real diamond? Our environment or the hardest, shiny stone? Thousands of animals and wildlife species could soon die, and thousands of people will lose jobs. And one more thing, Baksbaha forest region will lose most of the groundwater. Now, some even fear there won't be water to drink. Do we really care about our environment and nature? Now let me explain that to you in detail. Now please watch and share the full video so that we can stop our environment from being butchered so mercilessly. So let's get started. So why is Baksbaha forest in news? In Madhya Pradesh's Baksbaha forest, people are protesting and agitating against the proposed Bandar Diamond block in Chhatrapur district of the state. Now geographically, it is located about 225 km northeast of Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. And this project called Bandar Diamond Block has been in the eyes of controversy for more than a year now. Now it has been facing fresh resistance, agitation and protests including social media campaigns for a few weeks now. The project comes under Aditya Brilla Group's SL Mining and Industries Limited and has been facing protests due to ecological and environmental reasons and concerns. This project could cut down more than 2 lakh trees. Now, it is planned to spread across 364 hectares of land in Baksbaha forests. Now, this region has around 34 million carats of rough diamonds and the Mineral Development Corporation's current diamond mine is around 175 kilometers from Bundeir. The company is planning to develop a fully mechanized open cast mine and mine processing plant to recover and get diamonds in the area. So basically, destroying nature and the environment to recover diamonds with an investment of at least 2,500 crore rupee. Now, Baksava forest holds a very high importance because it has the potential to become one of the largest diamond mines in the Asian region. Just to remind you that Madhya Pradesh alone produces about 90% of the total diamond in India. So why is it facing public protest and resistance? What are locals saying? The whole project is facing resistance, agitation and opposition from the people. Locals and news have been running social media campaigns like Save Baksava Forest and India Stands with Baksava Forest. A public interest litigation PIL has also been filed in the Supreme Court of India trying for a stay order on this project. Now they say that this project will cut down 2 lakh trees and use a lot of water in the water distress area. It could destroy the ecology, wildlife and environment in the region. Locals fear that this project would mean a loss of their livelihood in the region and people will lose most of the groundwater due to this project. Now this will mean having no water even to drink let alone farming and other activities. The local activists and environmentalists say this entire process of recovering diamond by messing up with the environment will lead to a huge loss of around 6 million cubic meters of water every day. And this will happen in an already semi-critical region as there is big shortage of water in the region. Now is it something new? Has there been any protests in this area earlier? This area has witnessed protests earlier also. In 2006, the Madhya Pradesh government had granted a license to Australian mining company Rio Tinto Exploration India Private Limited to search and discover diamond mining in Baksava region. And at that time too, the entire project had faced a strong opposition from the locals due to ecological and environmental reasons. The company stopped after submitting a report to the Madhya Pradesh government later in 2017 and left without giving any particular reason for that. But experts say that they left it as the diamond business was going down all over the globe. Such acts of destroying forests and the environment have been happening for so many decades and even centuries. And that's the reason we are all paying the price every day. Climate change, air pollution, lack of drinking water and so many related things are already killing people and all of us. It's already too late. So let's start a conversation on this. Let's talk because your opinion matters and a united voice brings a big change.